Nick here, Last Stop Reviews, coming at you today with the Incipio Superhero Case Unboxing. Now guys, I got this in the mail a couple of days ago from Omar, and I've just been dying to check it out, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to kick it up to close-up cam, let you see what I think about this, and this is $25 on the website, and we're going to go up to close-up right about now. Okay guys, as I was saying, this is the Incipio Superhero, and since I did get this from Omar, it has already been open, but he always sends us stuff just like the factory does, so... I'm not really too worried about missing anything or anything being out of the ordinary. But set this away outside and holy guys, the <laughs> that is insane. The amount of silicone on this case is ridiculous. Uh, let's see what it comes with. Uh, standard Incipio little booklet, pamphlet, little cardboard, whatever you want to call it. Set this out of the way. Um, Microfiber and squeegee, not going to worry about getting them out, uh, and a screen shield. Now guys, the Incipio screen shields are actually pr really nice quality. I have one on my phone at the moment. It doesn't, it was really easy to put down, it doesn't get a lot of air bubbles, doesn't get scuffed up a lot, so I'm really impressed with the screen shields they do include with these. Now guys, just on first inspection of this, I must say that there is an, a massive amount of silicone on this to the point of it's actually squishy in some spots where you can squeeze and you can easily, you can, I don't know. It's wow. Let's see. Goes on pretty easy. I mean, just regular silicone case just forms around it, no problem. Feels really nice in the hand, and you have a nice grip, pretty much, where your hand's gonna lay right here. And home button's easy to get to. Standby actually clicks. You can feel it click in there. Volume rocker, same way. Um, not really too fond of that. One of the little rivets, indentions, comes up right at the volume rocker, so the up is kind of difficult to get to. Now the standby, uh, not standby, I always say that, the silent switch, you definitely have to push the silicone out of the way a little bit, but not too bad that it's going to be a deal breaker. Ooh, that's not good. One thing I don't like right there, the headphone port is definitely buried in there a good I'd say half an inch. So if you have a pair of headphones that don't just shoot straight up, they come out and do a 90 degree turn, you might have issues with this. I will definitely test that out because I think I have a pair that does that and let you guys know what the outcome was, if it does fit in there, if it does work out. But guys, I must say, as far as durability of this case goes, it definitely looks like it could withstand six, seven, eight, ten foot drop without messing up the phone at all. So. Guys, overall, I must say I'm kind of impressed with this case, which is odd because I normally don't like the silicone, but it's not its not the sticky sil silicone. It's very smooth. It's very soft. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll turn out to be a pretty good case. So, guys, this is Nick, Last Stop Reviews. Check me out on Twitter. I've lately been posting all my updates for videos when I'm posting stuff and just kind of giving you guys a little heads up as to what's to come. So, guys, like I was saying, check me out on Twitter, Last Stop Reviews, and I will catch you guys later.